Oh my god, everything's wrong. Everything's broken. Yep. Welcome to Interactive Fiction, episode I forgot. We continue to play Far Cry 3. Yeah, we're playing Far Cry th we're 3? No, oh, sorry to tell you. Oh, we're Cry gonna Cry play 4. Far Cry 4. No, we're playing Far Cry 5. Fuck, Sam, you lied to me. <laughs> Naughty every day. All oh, right, I'm, Brand so I'm Brandon Perry, by the way, and he's Sam Callahan. That's right. We're gonna burn some drugs. He's the one actually playing. So if anything goes wrong in the in the play in the play session, God, you can blame him. Hey guys, I found Fact, the drugs. Since he's editing these videos too, if anything goes wrong in the video, you can blame him as well. Hey guys, I found the drugs. Oh god, these dogs are the drugs. Where's your flamethrower? Uh, that's a good question. You guys have a flamethrower right here? No, the the fucking white boy gives it to you. No, found it. CIA Patriot, what's his fuck? Oh, right, he does. No, I can't anyway, uh, what's his fuck? And, and, well, I can't hear it because my stream is muted. I'm pretty sure there's uh, some really shitty rap music coming on in the background. Oh, it's not just rap music, though. It's dubstep. Wub, wub. Wub, 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 wub. You know, this is the kind of song that Jason put in, has in his head when he's doing this kind of shit. I mean, to be fair, he's burning down drugs, so it's not exactly like he's doing a disservice to the world. Hey, man. But he is kind of doing a disservice, disservice to the world by still being alive. <laughs> Just existing. All That's right. front. Well, I mean, for Jason Brody to exist is a crime. It's a crime against humanity. The UN should get all this. Punishable by death. You ready to go burn some more drugs? Sure. So how do you feel about the drug burning mission? I mean, it's actually like, it's fun. It, it's fun. Like, actually it's doing it is fun. It's, it's just not directly involved shooting. Yeah, not actually, right. burn. To be fair, if I was in this position and I was charged to burn down a drug field, assuming there was no pirates, there was completely safe. I'd be doing that exact same thing. Assuming there was nothing. If there was, if there were pirates there, would not be anywhere near that drug field. Anyway. So I guess if Jay, since Jason's legendary warrior and has no fear of anything, it makes totally sense for him to enjoy burning a drug field down. Yeah. Legendary warrior of the Tatao. He, I think it's funny, normally you're supposed to like, use the flamethrower, but I'm just kind of like, yeah. You are supposed to use the flamethrower. That's a, This entire mission, the point of it is to tell you how to use the flamethrower. And I just said, nah. Yeah, I like this mission. Uh, here's the other thing I was thinking of. Yeah, why don't you just, yeah, but say you got flamethrower ammo now, so you might as well fucking use it. Uh, I one thing, one cool thing about it is that it does use, uh, show off the same fire propagation that Far Cry 2 started with. Yeah. Which, you and, know, and that's still the best thing it's very good looking fire. Yeah. It's very good, I like the way it moves. Like, I remember Far Cry 2, that was a huge deal when that game was coming out. It was all about, like, oh, it's Surprise, Africa. other games haven't used similar kinds of fire, because it, it does look really, really nice, and somewhat realistic. Far as Fire, nobody's touched it. I do know there is a indie game called Hydrophobia that had some uh, water techniques about how water fills rooms dynamically. We're checking out for that. Not a shitty game otherwise. <laughs> I, I love, I love that. This is a great game to play for the war physics. Everything else is pretty bad though. Oh, isn't it ever? Fucking burn weed or the flame What else do you want? Yeah, we're not just burning weeds here, we're burning actual, like, marijuana weed. I think it's kind of funny that the pirates, like, they sell cocaine, which makes sense, because that's highly legal, but it's like, how much money can you really get selling weed on a deserted island? Um, There's still a very, very big black market for marijuana. Huh. Even today, now that it's legalized. It's weird. In a couple states. Nope, it's legalized everywhere. That's good. You're watching this in the year... 2017, marijuana is not legal. Yeah, they probably, that actually does make sense, although 
<laughs> if they have this big drug trade, what's the whole what's the fucking point of the kidnapping if they have this big drug trade? Like, what's the point of having us on the island? Because we were there. Like that's why they kidnapped us. Like, what is the entire point of the ransom business if well, they there, have a burgeoning well drug ransom. trade? Well, like no, it. because because in the plot, someone told Jason and Co. About this island, so they'd skydive to it, and and that person was hired by Voss to do so. So they deliberately s sought these guys to be on this island for the ransom money. And I just don't get why, if you have such a burgeoning drug trade, and you're already making tons of money off that, why would you even bother I mean, with your time? Because this off this is. I mean, but but I think we just kind of dem demonstrated that this is more trouble than it's probably worth. <laughs> I don't know how much. I don't know how much. I don't know how much. I don't know how much money he could have made through the ransom, but I guarantee that this these crop fields are worth more. I can guarantee that. You're very familiar with the weed trade, how much it costs. I've seen news reports. That makes me an expert. That's right. You watched Fox News that one time. No, I, I I watch PBS News. Oh. Probably better for it. Probably. Alright, so now we just got the final part. We just gotta shoot our way to the store. I wish I had more to say about this mission. Episode 7, on. Politics and Drugs. That'll attract all the crowds. Just 420. Ex okay. Except it'll attract none of the crowds, because no one on the internet likes talking about politics. They love talking they about pretend, how wrong you are they, in politics. They pretend to want to talk about politics, but they just want to yell at you. They just want to tell you how wrong your choice of politics are. Exactly. Unless unless you agree with them, then they just want to tell you how right you are. Man, look at how right you are. That's incredible, I know, right? Uh, I, I'm trying to think of anything more to say about this mission, but it's like, I don't know. I mean, you're burning drug kills and killing pirates. We've kind of done this already. I mean, the burn drug field, I guess, is new. We we already talked about that, so... Alternatively, we can call this episode 7 and nothing important happened. <laughs> you can just skip out this episode. <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing of note. Do still got ammo for this? I do. I'm not using anything else. I mean, because we have... Although, we haven't even gotten to the part where this game does major fill up, filler in the main story. Uh, I don't even know what that we're gonna say for that. I'm just fucking skip it at some point. Well, I mean, there's gonna be some filler, man. There's gonna be some real hardcore filler in it. To be fair, I think we're Soon. starting to enter the beginning of that. Willis. Oh, God, I don't know. Probably Willis is the FBI guy, right? Yeah, he's a CIA guy. Yeah, whatever. He's a CFI. They both have B in their name. That's right. They both have um, uh, except I. CIA actually doesn't have B in its name at all. It has an I. Keep trying though. They both have I in their name, so they both investigate things. Uh. And they okay. both call their agents what's agents. Wait, what's that timer? What, what's the timer? What is that oh, doing? Speaking of timer, I forgot to start the timer for this episode. Shit. Oh, it's already 40 minutes long. What are we going to do? Am I going to die when this goes off? Nope, it just got a little away. I love the flamethrower. Tell you what, I'll just count it. I'll just do a timer from to 15 instead. Oh, yeah, Germans invented the flamethrower during World War One. I. I learned that Thanks. in Italian arts. Hey, you ever go out on recon with your guys? There's a reason I have the American flag in here. There's a fire for this great voice acting. There's order out there. The yes, cause uh. I like how the American flag represents order. It's like with this flag here, everything is in order. Nothing can go wrong. Yeah. I I know. I almost want to say that this guy is like a, just a parody of like what hardcore Americans think, but. It doesn't feel like it, it. The game doesn't feel like it deserves the right to that kind of parody. I wouldn't be surprised if they just told totally the straight. They're like, "Yo, he's just really American." I was like, "You didn't see the problem with that." I I do still enjoy the fact that they call him Snow White all the. 
Because he is the only white guy on this island besides the agent we're talking to right now. Most people don't know he's there, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that Setu was his sister! Oh my god! What? He said it's my sister inking that guy. Is that, are they related? Yeah, Voss yeah. and Citra are sisters. The brother and sister. I totally forgot about that. That's that's the kind of important thing to forget. And Voss can't stand her, and she can't stand him. The whole thing with I mean, Voss is that he just went crazy, and he was just became all about the money and terrorizing people. And such was all about like traditional values. Who has it? Tell you when you get there. Um. Traditional values as defined by her. Right. By her culture, yeah. Yeah. Although they're, they're, values. Although, the, as you'd expect, both. They're they're both fucking crazy. I expect no less, really. Uh, local store. Like uh, brother, like sister, I suppose. So why would I ever go to the store again if all the safe houses have all the same stuff? I know, that's the thing. I I guess to justify the fact that you get guns for free. I guess. I don't I think they removed that for Far Cry 4 as well. Uh, not totally sure, but I think so. I mean yes, as the safe house in this area does contain a, a vendor right. of Alright, now he gets to run again. Which means I'm gonna fast forward again unless fucking something happens. Although I always kind of found that funny because, like, if this is Jason's storehouse and he has a vendor that has every gun attachment in the entire world, he has no incentive not just to break it open and steal all the equipment in it. Yeah, I think in 4 they... Yeah, they do totally explain it in 4. Where, like, there's some guy that leaves a note next to the first gun locker and he says, Longinus allows us to use this, but you have to pay for it or it'll stop giving us all the ammo and such. So they describe the idea of like somebody going and refilling all that as people come by. Because it makes more sense in 4 where you're fighting with an army, whereas in 3 there is an army, but it's mostly you using all this stuff. In 4, yeah. like, everybody uses this. Like, again, like, there, there is no incentive for Jason not to just break open that vending machine and steal everything in it, because it's fucking his, it's his, it's his machine in his house. Well, it's also like, what are they going to do? They'd be like, no, don't use all this to save us. Yeah. Whereas in, like, 4, Longinus has no, uh, which is the vendor in 4, uh, has no, like, real problem with what's I mean, going on. unless those machines are being run by the vendors, but they don't ever say anything regard with on those in those lines. I don't know if I need any of those, but I should probably kill them anyway. Tapirs. We could use a rucksack. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of fun trying to get a rucksack before. We, we got one, it's just that it didn't the game, save. The game said I didn't get one, though, when I exploded. Now, don't fail this mission, because if you do, we lose the, that rucksack again. <laughs> oh, God, every time I see a cliff like this because of Far Cry 4, I just want to jump off and just open up the wingsuit. That does not happen. That is the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. It's kind of like the whole like Saints Row 4 versus Saints Row 3 thing, where it's really hard to go back. Or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare than any other Call of Duty. Once you go wingsuit, you ain't never going back. Like, I could just wingsuit down there if I wanted. But no, I gotta fucking scale down this cliff. I actually recall just paragliding down there. Oh, I can use the zip line. Yeah, th this is the, what I was talking about where uh, the CIA guy was like, you gotta approach it stealthily, and I'm just paragliding down. Oh, this was the mission you're first? Yeah. Time. Like you gotta be stealthy, Jason, and I'm just paragliding down and I just I land right next to this shack and no one sees me as I paraglide down. It's hilarious. Oh boy. Oh yeah, why didn't we shoot this fucker right here? Because the plot demands it. Because we have a sniper rifle right we we could have had a sniper rifle right now, like if you if you took it out. In fact you get one I think by default. Like, again, there is no reason not to just kill him right here. Because you are completely undetected. Well, now you can't because he's also, gone. Also, bear in mind, I have an RPG equipped. 
I could have just shot that helicopter before so, it off. this guy. Hoy assassination po scenario at possible attempt number one. Right. Keep that. Keep a running tally of that because that's gonna. And it's gonna be that, more I, and by that, He means you, not me, because I don't have to start figuring out that shit. Yeah, I'm talking to the audience. Yeah. The hypothetical audience that hypothetically watch the show. I don't actually have one of those yet. Uh, I have a friend of mine who watches this actually. Oddly enough. So I don't know why. I have a friend. I have a friend of mine. Oh, I forgot the show now familiar. that. Because we have, we actually have a friend. Because actually, your friend that watches the Texture Pop and he's watching this now too. Oh yeah, the minefield. I love how I take just enough damage to be fine. Hey, uh, you should go run through that minefield some more. Agent Willis Huntley asked me to extract. Hey, this guy looks fucking intense. One of my friends. Tell What's me wrong with his mouth? No, I need to go to it's the like village now. The mesh isn't correct. I'll tell you correct. when I get that. What the hell? Um. I've seen people with that kind of mouth in real life, so I'm willing to excuse it. Yeah, you kind of are, actually. So sorry. I guess that guy has an AK in case the friends didn't have any time to assault rifle on you. Uh oh. Yeah, so we're kind of getting to that point where it's going to be less story and more shooting. Constantly. Yeah. Bullets. I may also fast forward through these and get yeah. to the point where it's like, I have nothing to say about the shooting. I just love how they, they, they hype up Hoyt to be this impossible to kill badass but you pass on like I can think of in my head right now three maybe four different attempts to possible chances to kill him this is the first one he keeps himself very very exposed for some reason even though he's apparently very well hidden he's so hidden I can see him with the DSLR camera look at this camera it's a nice camera Yeah, Hoyt is just not interesting villain at all, and they just overhype him to the point where he is he he doesn't deserve that hype because the writers didn't give him a, give him any sort of characteristic that that hype would demand. What? What? Oh fuck you, dude! Oh, I hate these missions. Don't you love escort missions? Uh... I love it. I love escort missions in video games, especially in video games. So good. Like, we finally reached a point, I guess it was like last last year, which would be 2013, this came out 2012, where people just said, fuck it, just make him invincible. I know. Like, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Because the idea that someone can die and it's completely out of my hands, if just some random RNG says he got shot three times. Yeah, I know, I know. It's like the most infuriating thing ever. Uh, this reminds me of uh, of I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 again, and uh, do you know the parts of the Caribbean level? Yeah. Do you know the Barbosa boss fight at the end of the first section of it? We have to hurt him in the light. Yeah. Do you know that if Jack Sparrow dies in that fight, it's game over? God. I found that out the hard way. What a fucking nightmare. By playing on critical mode, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. I was like, what? He dies and it's game over, but... And you don't understand, in Kingdom Hearts game, your party members are pretty much bullet sponges. That's their only real purpose, because they don't actually do anything to help you. So that was, like, the most infuriating thing ever. Oh, I hate these fucking games. And, like, they fix this in, like... And, like, Nuggle actually does a pretty good job of this, because, like, in, like, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, and all the other later games... They, I mean, they're not invincible, but they have like a million hit points, so they're, so they're like very unlikely to die. And and Ellie and Last of Us, which is pure invincible. I hate this game. Oh my god! And the worst part is if you shot hit, if you shot, you probably would end up shooting Ringo or Rongo. Yeah. As well. This is the part where I just fast forward until something happens. I don't care! Well, you don't understand. Rongo here, he needs to eat bullets to survive. <laughs> <laughs> if, he have, bullet if, he if he doesn't have 
his daily amount of bullets. Because, you know, he has an iron deficiency, so... Oh, uh, yeah, well, naturally, bullets would be very good for that. Iron, and, and he also needs lead, the lead, as well. So he needs to eat lead regularly, or he oh, will die. Yeah, <laughs> hey, there's an obscure fucking reference for you. Bonus points if you get that one. I actually got it. Yeah, I know. Fucking nobody else will. It seems like one guy in the comments is like, oh yeah, Just that someone game. who's browsed Steam's inventory at one point in time will recognize it. Yeah. That game came out. That didn't come out, didn't come out on Steam. I thought it did. No. It only came out on consoles. I looked several times. Oh, wow. My memory's fucked then. It was just that bad. <laughs> so, and lately so bad that Steam won't publish it is now is something that you can use as an insult. Yes. <laughs> actually an insulting remark now. Biting and witty commentary on video games. <laughs> har har har. <laughs> so I like this tactic better, which is just fucking run so fast that they don't know what to do. So Kill them before them. they even get to Rongo, that's the only way you'll win. <laughs> You just gotta be the ultimate badass. Also, we get another ultimate title. Episode 5, Healthy Diet of Lead. I think we're on 6. Are we now? Yeah. No, so it's actually like 7 or something like that, I think. I don't fucking remember. We just started! Me while I yeah, well, 5 is the one that just went up by the time this is recording this. Oh, right, right. This is, this and would actually... I don't remember if there's another one after that or not. I think there is. There is. Be recorded for the night, so that would actually, yeah, that would, this would make it, set, this is the seventh episode. Happy seventh episode, everybody. Unless this is episode eight, this would be a happy eighth episode. I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out in post, so it doesn't matter. This is a typical Let's Play problem where we just don't know when one episode begins and the other one ends. This is the problem with Bash recording. I don't know what the kids are calling it. That's what I call it. Yeah. Behind you. Oh. oh, you know what? It's not a batch of like you said batch recording, as in like the coding thing. No, I I, I called them batches because we were recording a batch of episodes. Like cookies. Like episode cookies. Oh, like cookies or biscuits. Uh, I'm not an American, thank you. So cookies. I had the conversation. Good plan. I like it. Shoot WGA the guy. Rongo, are you <sighs> feeling okay? I think he's had enough bullets to last today. He'll survive. I will feast once more. Today, On I bullets! I do appreciate the idea of Far Cry, which is like, I don't know, you have an RPG, you can just use that to go guys for all I care. It works. Until I run out of ammo, but it's working. Until you shoot yourself in the foot. Did I do it? Then it... I did it. Game. You know what? Protection missions are just like one step below escort missions and how infuriating they are. Oh, like protect the point stuff? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that right, Destiny? <laughs> just, just the game over here. And uh, once we finish this mission, it might be a good time to call it. Yep. Also, I just realized that I did not permission for position my microphone correctly. It was facing the fucking computer. I don't know how you can hear me. Congratulations, Sam. There's gonna be a sudden notice, sudden difference in audio quality. <laughs> there actually is no difference whatsoever. Great. What a great microphone I bought. Alright, uh... So I, guess I, have a great, I have a great mic. My speakers on this headset suck, though. You should get a new not $20 headset, I told him. For the $30. $30. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Princess. Medical syringes restore six. Why can you get that before we can get six health bars? It's video games. We gotta wait until complete more missions. What a great description. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you guys next time because we probably ran out of it. Probably. We're we're getting we're we're pushing it. Okay. Well, see you guys next time for hopefully more interesting stuff happening. Relevant and topical and fire. Fire, buddy. Bye, guys.